My wife and I manage a stellar 220 square foot garden, what you see here. We enjoy slaving over it throughout the course of the year. One of the main reasons it's so productive for us around this time of year is because of the soil that we put into the garden beds themselves. The thing is homemade compost is one of the most important and most valuable resources that we have as gardeners. It's one of the best products that we can put into our garden to improve it year over year. But I wanted to take some time today to point out the one key ingredient that almost all of us have in abundance, a thing that is super important to making fantastic compost at home in your backyard. It's an ingredient that is overlooked over and over and over again. The thing is though, I'm a lawn care guy more than a garden guy. I love my garden, but I'm known more for my lawn. So to explain this option for making compost at home in your backyard, I asked a good friend of mine, Tony from Simplify Gardening, if he'd come on to the channel and do the honors for me. So with that out of the way, Tony, would you mind telling us how we can use our lawns to make better compost for our gardens and for our lawns or whatever else that we wanna use the compost for? Hi, I'm Tony O'Neill from Simplify Gardening and today we're going to be talking about grass clippings. Now you've seen some really good useful ideas about using grass clippings around your garden or backyard but I want to talk about adding grass clippings to your compost because for me grass clippings well they contain huge amounts of nitrogen and when you're using nitrogen around the garden as a mulch, well, you lose part of that nitrogen in a process called gassing off. As the grass clippings break down, then they release gases into the atmosphere and within those gases is nitrogen. So we're not getting the best out of our grass clippings. Now, there is a far superior way, in my opinion, and that is to incorporate them into your compost at home. Now don't get me wrong, it still has a multitude of benefits when used as a mulch and around the garden such as lawn dressing because using them as a lawn dressing can replace up to 25% of the nutrients lost from the previous year's growth. However, nitrogen is one of the most important nutrients and one of the most expensive nutrients to buy. And grass clippings, they contain 4% nitrogen, 2% potassium and 1% phosphorus. Adding grass clippings to your compost does many things for you. Number one, it eats up the compost pile. Number two, the nitrogen offsets the carbon from woodier materials like wood chips and tree trimmings. Number three, the heat created kickstarts microbial life into breeding which further creates more heat. Number four, the heat from the microbes and the grass clippings can get over 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This is perfect for killing off weed seeds. And number five, grass clippings help to balance out your compost for better soil structure. As we've seen so far, grass clippings are fantastic for utilizing around the backyard or garden, but adding them to the compost, well, you get a better nitrogen retention. They also improve the soil quality, the water retention, and that compost can then be used around the garden as a mulch, just like you would the grass clippings. You're not losing everything to the atmosphere. And it's also perfect for building the soil structure. They warm the ground quicker and you can sieve it for starting off your seed starts later on in the year. So you have a multitude of uses rather than a, just a one trick pony. By adding them to your compost, you're getting the best benefits out of them for your garden or backyard. I'm Tony O'Neill from Simplified Gardening and I hope to see you all soon. Bye bye. All right, I can't stress this enough. If you watch Tony's channel, you're gonna find a wealth of information from a really great presenter. The guy is really worth watching, even if you're just a wannabe gardener. Soil health is just so important for lawn care and for the garden. You can go ahead and take a look in the description below for a link to Tony's channel or for other contributions from all of the other creators involved in this project. But listen up, pay attention once again. You've still got a big choice to make, even if you don't think that composting is in your immediate future. For those of you looking to actually bag and discard your clippings, there are better ways than throwing it straight into the trash. And that's why my friend George over at Princess Cut Lawn Care has made this video right up here. Take a look at it if you're into bagging, but you don't really want to do much of anything else with the actual clippings. Alternatively, Kyle over at Lake House Lawn Care has prepared a fantastic video all about transforming your grass clippings into liquid fertilizer that can be used both in the garden or in the lawn. Take a look at one of those videos.